Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 111, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And, uh, we've, uh, we've been making our way through, through the Sith encampment fairly, fairly easily. I, I, yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of wishing I hadn't uh, disabled those guys. Maybe it would have made the fight a little bit more of a challenge, or something closer to a challenge. I was... I knew that there was going to be large numbers of enemies, I just... I didn't expect to mow through them quite that quite that easily. I'm not complaining, though. Let's, uh... Oh! Hi! Uh, Sith Lord, or Sith Lord? Hmm... Let's hope that will push them away. Let's get energy resistance. Uh, and then let's start swinging. Because any of that other stuff is not going to help. Yeah, let's try to redirect and get to the guy in front of us, not the weak-willed guy in the end. Oh! Um... Is it me, or is the quality of Sith Lords not quite what it used to be? <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess the Civil War hurt the Sith as much as it hurt the Jedi. Alright, so we got a security tunneler, we got a new lens. I don't know if that's any good, but that Grey Jedi robe, that that might be worth, uh, that might be worthwhile for, uh, for the main, for my main character, because I keep forgetting that. Um, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, that might actually make it worthwhile. That might make it worthwhile. Yeah. Damage one to twelve energy. All right. Um. Okay, we can't switch out the crew. Which kind of stinks. If I thought I was going to get enough upgrades, I would have sent T3 over here. Because I know her lightsaber could probably use an upgrade. Um, well, I'm surprised I couldn't get more than just a component from a lightsaber. A Corellian power suit. Okay. I mean... That's what she's wearing right now is a upgraded Corellian power suit. So this is kind of a good chance to take a peek at the upgrade. So a stock Corellian power suit gives you a defense of 10, max dex bonus of 1, and a strength of 2. And the one that she's got is a defense bonus of 13, max dex of plus 4, some damage resistance to uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, a bump to strength of two, and a bump to dexterity of three. It's very nice. All right. To the tomb of Frieden Nad. Hmm. I didn't realize that was the tomb that we were headed to. I would have expected that in Korriban. I had to run to catch up with you. You've made impressive <laughs> progress. The Sith's camp lies in ruins. Yeah. I told Kelborn of your progress. The rest of your squad is already en route to Isis. Also, Kex checked our sources for any information about this place. Oh. Kex believes that this is the tomb of freedom. I believe that's what the title said, we too. It was somewhere on this moon. We had no idea how close it was to our camp. <laughs> how could you have missed it? No, that's not the best way. Is that all you know? Um. Yeah, let's go with that one. Freedom. I know that. Stories say he was far worse than Revan and Malak ever were. I know. I just came from Korriban. We got the history lesson on that. Sith presence here makes the danger great. I can sense the power from this place. It's like the light abandoned it long ago. I fear the Sith shall be very strong here. I am returning outside. Not so far. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. Clear from what? We just, like, obliterated everybody that was on that... Uh, okay, fine. Go about your way. Let's, uh... Save though real quick. I think I did before the break, but... Just to be sure. 
I'd hate to lose another three hours of progress. Are you guys going to be any tougher than the last the two? For practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb, and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. Hmm. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the. Oh price really? Of Men, follow me. <laughs> you, you, Corporal Cannon Fodder, and his partner, you're going to come with me to go die a horrible, horrible death. You two Sith Lords, prepare to do the same. Is that what I heard? Because I think that's what I heard. Alright, well, I wanted to go down the left path first, but I, I guess you're not going to make that easy, so, uh... <laughs> wow. Alright, let's get back to, uh, this path on the left here first. Oh, these are supposed to be elite troopers. Got it. Um. Why do I not like the fact that the Wookiee is over there? Is that a Wookiee over there? Just uh, more Sith. Okay. Let's uh, let's get that energy resistance up real quick, so we can jump into this and uh, make stuff doing? happen again. Prototype, disruptor carbine. What that's been worth. Alright. Uh, broken medical droid. Uh, Mr. Tech Specialist. Reactivate the droid. Requires one repair part. Sweet. The droid is now active. It will follow you. If you take serious injuries, it will attempt to heal you. Minor injuries. It will not treat. Well, okay. I'll take the XP boost, too. But this... This is what I was after, was the repair droid... Or the medical droid. Uh, I'll keep him along as long as this place will allow me to. And uh, all these wicker baskets of stuff are just bonuses. Well, I think there's... I thought there was a little bit more than just that, though. Oh, hey! More parts than it took to fix the guy. Nice. Something in here? Ancient terminal, ancient box. The ancient box is locked, which means my tech specialist should probably go to the ancient terminal. The Sith were working on this old computer terminal. It appears to have been a delicate operation. Attempt to repair the terminal. There are six core modules. They label them A through F, and one is dangerously unstable and needs to be replaced. The Sith have run a diagnostic report with each module to indicate which other modules are fully operational. Beware the power of these fully operational modules. <laughs> okay. Uh, four of the diagnostic reports have a single error on them. Two reports are completely accurate. The Unstable Modules Diagnostic Report is one of the two that produces accurate results. Uh, the reports are... Feb, DCE, EVA. Which module... Which module do you replace? Um, hang on. I, I needed to see my options again. Okay. I need C. The 
terminal powers up. You hear an unlocking sound from the container nearby. 500 XP. I'm here. Sweet. And we get a lightsaber crystal. Great. Could we, uh... Could, could we get a crafting bench to put said crystal in my lightsaber? I mean, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. That'd be awesome. Uh, crystals are also worth saving. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just out of curiosity, what does that crystal get for me? Uh, plus one dex, plus one attack, and plus four stealth. I might actually put that in Mira's lightsaber. Even though she doesn't actually use the lightsaber as much. Because she really is better at ranged. Like, shockingly better at ranged. Because if you look at it, her, her, it's a plus 38 to attack and 15 to 52 damage for her ranged. Or plus 38 to attack and a 5 to 36 with the lightsaber. So I really need to get that uh, that lightsaber upgraded. All right, let's go to the right. All right. Hi, guys. We, uh... We about to do this? All right, let's zap the droid. Let's throw on some energy resistance and a force barrier. Oh, that's why I didn't give her battle meditation, because she wears armor. Crikey, I gotta remember this stuff. All right, fine. Oh, I don't know why I'm wasting all these force points on barriers. Oh, are they both dead? No. Huh. Let's see what remains. Droid Sess? Droid Battle Upgrade? I know some droids that could use some of these parts. Defense barrier? Eh, maybe not that one. And the Duraplating Mark II, uh, which I think they all have, if I remember correctly. But what, what was that droid sus? Uh, oh, no, they don't have the Plating Mark II. So that means somebody gets a defense bonus upgrade to 10? Hmm. There we go. I want to get that battle upgrade in T3, which means I can actually put a big honkin' blaster rifle in his hands, hands, uh, and really crank up the damage on him. You know, just in case. And his defense, and his dexterity, and his attack. Um. Oh, this is a this is a tactical upgrade. Improved sniper shot, master sniper shot. I might give that to HK, but I think he's already got those feats. I'd have to check on that. All right. Uh, dark side energy. Let's uh, walk away from that for a moment. What's in the wicker bin? Parts. Or anything else over here? Oh, hey, it's a workbench. Yeah. And a broken droid. Reactivate the droid. The droid is now active. It will attack any enemies that come in range. We can optimize his weaponry for zero parts. Okay. We can optimize his targeting system for zero parts. Okay. And shields and patrol mode are one part apiece. There we go. All right. Go forth. <laughs> Do your thing. All right. Let's uh, upgrade some 
items, shall we? I need... Alright, this is... Oh. Alright, so she's got a lens. That uh, attack plus two. Blaster bolt plus three. Or a flat damage bonus of one to... T well, not flat, but a damage bonus of one to twelve. So that would loot lose an attack bonus and blaster bolt deflection for straight damage. I think I'm going to skip that. Uh, no. Uh, I just checked that. Why did I click on that again? Uh, oh, there we go. Dexterity attack. Oh, that's right. That's right. I wanted this lightsaber to upgrade. So we could give her a bump to stealth. And... Yeah, because that's an attack plus one and a bonus damage of 2 to 12. Bonus damage of 1 to 12. Okay, yeah. I, I think that other lens is going to get broken down for parts. But uh, I, li I like having that extra crystal in there. Okay. Still, uh, I wouldn't have minded some other upgrades, but, oh well, I'll take what I can get. What else we got? We got another wicker basket. With some life support packs. And we got that ugly pool of dark energy in there. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, we got an ancient box. I just wanted to use the straight security I'll skill. This open in no time. <laughs> this is too tough for me. Wait, impossible. All right. I'll have this open in no what about time. with the tunnel? This is too tough nope. for me. This is too tough for me. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Seriously, dude. The Sith were working on this old computer terminal. It appears to have been a delicate operation. Attempt to repair the terminal. There's a single equation that needs to be fixed. Uh, mathematical operators? Um, when he uses the first operator. Multiply? We use for the second operator. It's going to be subtract. Uh, add. And multiply. Right? Yeah. Ah, let's power it up. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> All right. XP received, and now the impossible box is unlocked. Oh, come on. Is this where, is this where Bethesda got its pathfinding yeah. code from Obsidian? Ooh, another crystal? Uh, yes, please. All right. So, let's upgrade some items again real quick. Let's check this saber. Uh, that's an extra 1d6 damage. And that upgrades it to 1 to 10 cold damage. And a charisma bump. Okay. Which means we can take that other crystal. And put it in here. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and save the game. And let's go ahead and try to get to at least the next area. Because the tomb... The tomb isn't that big. Oh, that Sith Trooper's already damaged? From what? 
I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Ooh. More droid plating? Before before I go any further, I almost forgot to go back to uh that dark energy thing. Because if you are a light side character you can choose to resist, control your emotions, and you'll get a plus four bonus to strength and constitution. If you're dark side characters and you give in, you'll receive uh, a new force power temporarily and dark side points. So let's go. Something feels wrong here. I, I don't think you should get any closer to it. Even I can sense the dark side here. This thing has to be part of the reason why the Sith are so interested in this place. Uh, I think you're right. You think the dark side frightens me, but it may give us a clue about what's going on. I won't tell you how to do your job, but I know that I wouldn't get near it. Uh. You feel the distinct presence of the dark side here. A sickly, fascinating feeling tugs at your belly. Waves of anger ripple through the air. Are you going to move next, or do I need to? All right. Control your emotions. The tugging sensation doesn't abate. Wild and dark emotions surge around you. You don't know if you can maintain your mental balance in the storm. Come on. I'm afraid to click the mouse because... <laughs> okay. Willpower. Try to tame the emotions in this area. You tame your, your serenity through the worst of the emotional storm. The dark side is diminished, but still present. Do I need to do this for everybody, or do they all get a bump? Though the strain of the effort has momentarily drained you, you feel a renewed strength that you can use to defeat the evil in this tomb. Nice. Well, I guess I should have invested a little more in her willpower. You've temporarily gained a plus four to your strength and constitution. What about the rest of my party? Oh, and light side points gained too. Uh, that begs the question. All right, so her will was only a 14. Hers is a 17. All right. Let's, uh... Oh. Okay. Only one of them. Ready. Well, interesting. All right. That's good to know. And let's uh regenerate those uh hit points while we're at it. Huh. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay. Nothing but druid bits and Sith bodies. Surely, surely there is something else here. A barrier. Ha! <laughs> Dark Jedi Apprentice. Alright, let's drop in with that. And some energy resistance and force barrier. And a flurry. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. Huh. I, I... That's it? Just a yellow color color crystal? I was expecting more out of those guys. Alright, maybe these Sith warriors down here will have uh 
a little more of a challenge for me. Oh, that's right, these were the guys sparring earlier. I guess I should have practiced more. Yeah. Life support pack's always nice. They do come in handy in a pinch. Uh, Alright, left, right, and center, right? I think we're going to do the same thing we did the last time, is we'll go left first, then right, then center. But first... I need to see if there's anything worth looting. I need to go ahead and save my progress. And I need to take a short break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.